Welcome, it's another Celebrity Friday on Your View. Welcome to the show. I am Moriah Afolabi Brown. We have an amazing celebrity guest today. I'm so excited to see her. Mm, yeah, I like you when have women, you know, who are doing great things in the amazing. building. Thank yeah, you. but first, how are you guys doing? Oh, doing great. I like the hair. Thank you very much. What's up with you? <laughs> Any plans for the weekend? Uh, I have no plans yet, um, but I just wanted to, I mean, what's happening in Sudan? This is really yeah, scary. Your post. It is it's sad. The thing is, there are so many people being killed, women and men being raped, children are being killed, and nothing, nobody's talking about it. I hear that the government is sort of shutting down social media so that this news does not go out and yeah. people know what people are going through. These are people that have come out to stand against a corrupt system of government mm -hmm. and they are punished this way and the we mainstream media to... isn't really talking about it yes, that, we need to uh, speak cnn about everybody's it. just they're, they're 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 just covering it on the surface nobody's mm -hmm. really taking that extra um step to go in to investigate what's going on in, in sudan that was but it's really sad the world police you know our world police that them. they like to the enter them. everywhere yes the them to get there and do something but we're so not that's what they, they do anything. now uh, even with the killings happening they... in palestine they take it they take it from a different angle yeah. and they the uh, um, no, the, the, the weaker ones mm. are the ones supposed to be attacking people who have more weapons. Well, so they're wiping out to those who have lost their lives. It's it's race. We're are you praying for Sudan. Mm. Yes, um, so very well, peace. though. I'm trying to be positive. I'm speaking tomorrow, one of the two speakers at um, an event at the Nikon Youth Center. Nice. <coughs> but I have work. I've been working, and today I'm working. Mm. I don't know how I'm going to wing it tomorrow. I have not been doing anything to prepare. I had work, backlog, backload of work. I put aside for the Ramadan and it's a busy day. It's caught up with you now. You have yes, to finish. Yes, I'm uh, working, but I might be relaxing. Happy birthday, Auntie Joke. My cosmetic in school, she's a police officer, a prosecutor for the police. Oh. She's turning 45 uh -huh. and we'll have a birthday party on Sunday. So I'll try to show up. Okay. But I'm really tired already. Mm. Yes. Can you imagine? Hey. Happy birthday, Jokero. <laughs> my name. I always greet somebody happy birthday. Uh, somebody yeah, around me is always doing birthday. birthday. Don't worry, you have panty problems. You call me. Panty <laughs> yeah. Joker is very similar. Yeah. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm doing amazing and grateful. I thank God for life. How are you surviving post your phone? <laughs> oh my god i, I just um, dug up my laptop i haven't touched that laptop in a while because i needed to <laughs> get some work done mm -hmm. and get some of my contacts so that i could continue i am working on having two major training uh, programs this august so i've been making plans and now the phone i had to just i needed those contacts so i got them and i was able to did you put make up a report at the closest some... police station no you should have they know how to get these guys how would they get the guys? Ah. I'm actually tracking the phone. It's an iPhone. So I'm tracking it. Anytime it comes on, I would be notified. But even at that, am I going to be chasing them to get the phone well, back? I'll just have to replace it. Make a report. Because so, of my phone. Mariah, how have you been? How's the other It was nice. Oh, Honestly, um, I, I got invited to moderate, to be amongst the moderators for the June 12 event. It was really, really nice. Mm. Uh, I was there with Iberi, Mr. Iberi Young. You know, the voice, there's this deep voice you hear when you go to the government event. That guy is amazing. You know, he told me, Moriah, listen, this game is not easy. You know, you look like a good girl, a nice woman, mm. a mother. Ugh, you God, just, just, just know that. If you want to go, this Abuja, mm. you know, clean like that. Are you kidding? But uh, just, just hold yourself and be, you know, be what you are. Mm. So, I mean, listen, I'm, I don't plan to be in Abuja in the first place. But, but the idea is that <laughs> she's going to Canada. You know, I, sure. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm definitely gonna um, pray and ask God for God's guidance yeah. because as I'm getting into this freedom. You know, TVC has. I've been in this shell, this, mm -hmm. you know, coverage, co protection in TVC. Now I'm flying and it's like, oh my God, there's a lot of stuff out there, you know. So I need to just organize myself. But mm. Abuja was fantastic. I, I, I mean, I'm really grateful for the opportunity to what, what I did. And, you know, I was really surprised that during the event, there wasn't a slot. And I located a slot for the Abiola family, and that really bothered me. Oh. You know, I was amongst the announcers, and I kept thinking, okay, at what point would we have to call in Kola Abiola or Hafsat Abiola or somebody from the family to represent? And nothing Don't happened, and like I kept. That. You know, it was almost as if it wasn't even part of the plan. And I'm like, this is their day. And what was so what was so interesting was after the event, the president had gone, everybody had gone. Some leaders started going to say hello to them, oh. to the family, and I'm wondering. So they saw them, so they saw them. make plans I mean, for them. I mean, goodness me. Mm -hmm. but yeah. I think that, that can be excuse. Really that can be excuse, right? That, right? Um, they had a, an event when Before. they made it in public, when the president acknowledged that okay. date, and the family members were all right. present. Okay. But this is our own democracy, democracy. day. Oh, okay. So this is a federal But even at that, I think, even at that. Because even when, when, when he entered, you know, we are at the, at the back of the box. 
So, has he, is, he, is he around? Is he not around? Is he around? Check him. Is he there? Oh, he's there. Let's announce him. There's, you know, it wasn't, there, wasn't nothing, there was nothing formalized for them. Mm. That, that, was, that was the issue I had. You know, there should have been a point that, okay, when he comes in, let us make a formal announcement. It wasn't like that. But at least we thank God for the struggle of democracy and we thank God. I think it's actually the people's democracy. It's not just democracy. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's yeah. our own democracy day because mm -hmm. we, that day we stood firm and insisted that our votes must, must count. And, it, and, it, and unfortunately, it happened. But today, we are thankful for what the government has done to celebrate democracy. Day. Let's go on a break. It's Friday. Let's not talk to your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we have an amazing guest in the building. But first, let's breeze through the front pages of the newspaper. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Okay, we're going to start with the nature and I, nation, actually. I see a crash here. Eight dead, 12 injured in Lagos, Ibadan Road crash. I think there was a child in there too, right? Yeah. Kidnapped teacher relieves experience. 25% uh, pension funds for mortgage. No server for PDP. Article to check. <laughs> INEC tells tribunal. Hey. Senate minority offices. PDP tips Abaribi, others. 62 killed as bandits sack eight villages in Niger, and all revenue hit 85 trillion naira in five years. Let's start with the crash. Okay, Who has so that story? Very sad story. Um, an accident occurred Wednesday at about 7 p.m. along the Lagos Ibadan Expressway. According to eyewitnesses, it was a, a, from, as a result of reckless <laughs> driving. So this driver with an articulated vehicle mm. recklessly drove into people. The containers fell on. Um, commuter buses, other cars crashed into, so, so, so many cars were involved. Unfortunately, eight people died, a mm. child as well. Mm. Um, over uh, 12 people were injured. They've been taken to hospitals. The FRSC command in Shagamu is asking that relatives that know that you no know, family members were traveling that road should go to the uh, command mm. in Shagamu for more details. Really yeah. sad story. Really sad story. Sad story. You didn't Let's mention, talk about this... Um, mm. Oh, yeah, that was a story you want to take from? Yes, just here. The government, government said to a woman in place. <coughs> yeah. What happened there? So uh, this, um, this woman, a 34-year-old woman, a businesswoman, Mrs. Trisha Deyemi, was um, set ablaze by masked, uh, maxed gunmen who mm. went in, get, got into his uh, uh, apartment by 7 p.m. on last week Wednesday, and they wanted to see her husband, but her husband wasn't available, so they tied her up in the bedroom and um, set her ablaze. When she was shouting, that was when they ran away. But then she was able to, uh, okay. neighbors were able to come in, yes. Oh, they, survived. She survived it and she reported to the police. So she's wow. pleading that um, the government should do something about the insecurity in the state. Mm -hmm. mm. We'll talk about the survey a bit in the Tribune. Mm. Let's move on to the punch. Democracy Day, opposition bashes Senate for rejecting motion to discuss Buhari's speech. Man rips mother in emo, blames on alcohol. Mm -hmm. Walk for albinos, albinos actually. Uh, June 13th, that's, that was yesterday. 10% of annual budget will go to education, says Makinde. Hmm. Your black actor, Dagunro, is dead. Unizik scandal, Ambrose Ali versus he denies embattled lecturer's examiner document. Reconciliation, Ganduja demands apology from Sanusi. Article PDB asking for server, we don't have, uh, says INEC. Too many political parties in Nigeria is a distraction, says United Nations. Fayoshi slams Obasanjo, hails Buhari for honoring MKO Abiola, and crime rates rise in Oshun, governor tells Buhari Tai. Let's talk about Ganduja for a second. He's requesting He's that the Emir Sanusi apologizes to him. Yes, he says he should apologize for dragging the Kano state and, and the Kano Emirate through the murky waters of politics. And that uh, they say it was a 45 paragraph letter hmm. that he sent to him and that Sanusi should extend his hand of um, friendship, you know, and accept the other new emirs yeah. of the different it's new emirates that have been created. Mm. And, and they're making him first way. among equals, the yes. chairman of all and the emirs. And should continue to be the chairman of the, the, um, emirs, the, the council. council of emirs. Yes. Wow. So that's his own response. Let's hear what the um, yeah, Sanusi has to say I like that Emir yeah, Sanusi doesn't respond immediately. You know, mm. he takes, takes his time. time. He's very intelligent. Like so, okay. As an Emir, he sits in council. So other uh, chiefs, uh, what do you call them? What do you call chiefs? Emirs. The, the Emirs council. Right. The other elders. The elders, 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 elders council. Shall we be also consulted? Let's take this one like, that... Um, the nonsense man, Abi. Arif's mother. Yeah, so... um. 
the NSCDC in Imo State Command arrested one Paul Iwako. The name actually is very funny when I heard that name this morning. Iwako means Pam Canel Fis, you know, for allegedly raping his mother. Uh, he's 45 years old. He I lives in the jealous. same house with his mother. That particular day, he came back drunk and he said he was not bewitched, but he was under the influence of alcohol. He doesn't have a girlfriend, he doesn't have a wife. Obviously. So he tre uh, uh, threatened his mother with uh, a pistol, a local pistol, mm -hmm. and then raped her. So by the next morning, she had to go and report to the youths in the village and they took him to the police station. The mother said that this was the second time it was happening. Yeah, so I, don't, I think that guy is under a curse, really, and something Fact. should be done about it. Let's, I, I wanted to talk about uh, my Baboko in Ikiti, former governor of um, Ikiti State. Okay. He was saying that it's a shame, um, the, the whole, the fact that uh, President, mm -hmm. President Buhari, Buhari uh, honored MK Abiola by making June 12 Democracy Day. Mm -hmm. It was a shame to Basanjo that that was something he should have done, mm -hmm. especially because of this, is a, is a, is a, is a state, Yoruba man. the Yoruba man, mm -hmm. and they should have actually done that. And, but it's interesting that why you say who is a major critic of President Buhari actually does not acknowledge that what he did was right mm -hmm. and that it was wrong for Obasanjo not I to just acknowledge. I the narrative about uh, Obasanjo should have done it, who should have done it. He was Nigerian and especially MKO stood for <coughs> one Nigeria. Mm. It does not matter who did it. But now, first of that, man. interestingly, Baba Gana Kinjibi, King Gibi, was saying that um, it was former president of Asanjo that should have that that, 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 uh, frustrated. that frustrated oh, the efforts, the, the efforts <coughs> to, to, to recognize him. Okay. Others are also saying no, it was the northern elders that frustrated Obasan just efforts. So everybody's just coming out to talk I mean, talk right now. Well, like, here we are let's today. Move let's move on. Let's move on. You could have, you should have, you didn't, but it never yeah. happened. Mm -hmm. So let's move on. Daily Sun. Bloody week in Lake Chad, Niger State. Article versus Abuhari, I next server controversy rocks tribunal. Northern leaders frustrated about some just plan to recognize June 12th. Says Okupe, actually, that was Okupe speaking. Senate shuts down motion on Buhari's speech. Igbo presidency doesn't <coughs> exist, says mm -hmm. Okrocha. Bagang. Please, who has that story? I have the story. <laughs> so while uh, Richard Okrocha was uh, addressing newsmen after being sworn in as a senator, he was telling them that there's nothing like Igbo presidency, that you people need to stand up and work for it, and that Nigeria is not just about one ethnicity or the other. If those, those people who have capacity will be given leadership. So don't just sit down and wait for your turn to get to lead. You have to work for it. You have to you know, do what is expected to be done. That power is not given, power is taken. So come out there and... And it made a lot of sense. I was even yeah, shocked I mean, reading I'm sorry, it. I'm, I was totally disappointed in the governor, the former governor, Kocha, because Why? with all due respect, one second he was he hated it. He felt that um, every CAPC had bedeviled him, mm -hmm. everything that happened to him. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, they now give you a ticket, mm -hmm. they allowed you to become Ooh. Senate, and now you're saying, Oh, no. there's nothing like Igbo presidency. No, no, I no, think no, it's no, wrong, no, no. it was wrong for him to be the one to be making that statement. No. It was wrong. No, 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 no. You have to ahead. Let, me, let me get the counter argument. Don't take it in isolation. I think I'm taking the, it in isolation the, because the, it's wrong for the government is completely different, uh, devoid of the office he's holding presently. Yeah, They're two separate issues. Mm -hmm. He's addressing his people to work at this rather than having it saying, Okay, it's, it's by nice. sharing. Yes. 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 last year or two years ago, whilst he was still he, in it. Yes. He never I said think, that. I think he's always made issues. He's always, always uh, you know, uh, implied it some way. He has yeah. always yes. tried to make it look as if the next 2023 should be Igbo president that we should be considered. He was he, working he was amongst, yes. So, so he's telling these people, work at it. So, so maybe, maybe supporting him. Mm. Or the, because you so see, I don't think it's Nigeria. It's not about the, in the number of population they have on the, in the East alone that will make you a president. You yeah. have to win so other regions. He was saying that Igbos are neither here nor there. They are not in APC. They are not even relevant in VDP. What's that? What, and you want to get from, power from government from government 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 and NAWOJ writes, or oh, your governor demands radio arms carriage for Yoruba nation. Let's talk about this um, INEC server. So One at, second, they have. Okay, go ahead. That the tribunal, the election tribunal has you know, been constituted and they've started hearing. And the articles lawyers were asking that it's important for our case if we have access to the server. Uh, only for the INEC um, lawyer to say, there's no server for you to check.
So the way it was quoted <coughs> in the paper, I had to read it in all the okay, papers, right. and thank God for Guardian uh -huh. to put it in perspective, saying he based this comment on the March um, ruling they got in the appeal court, saying they do not have uh, nobody should have access to that server post election. So there is a ruling stopping the PDP from ac accessing. Okay. Okay. Server. Oh, wait, my question was okay, okay. So my, my question, no, thank you, from her, my issue was in the beginning, mm -hmm. APC and I no, the PDP and article said we are going to ask for that the information on the server. Yes, yes. I didn't say a word. No. They got to court they to get to court. They got, they, 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 they the PDP and the article went to court asking for information on the same server. Court approved it. Yes. Yes. I let me come out and say there's no server. The court, the court didn't. Know. That's what I'm That's saying. What saying. There's an appeal court judgment in March yes. saying no, you cannot have access to that server, which is why the lawyer was quoted as saying there's no server for you to check. We don't Ima, have a server for you to we check. We read in this, on this table some, at some point where we got there was an approval in the papers. For them, yes, the yes, lawyer, yes, yes. The the story, yes. Lawyer, a lawyer is relying on an appeal court judgment in March. That means there's a ruling stopping that up from happening. It's Check right. Guardian. Everybody should read it. All these lawyers, they cannot say it's Nima. Nima has joined them. I am a civilian, <laughs> and I remember reading on this table, I read it on that, this table that the courts had actually allowed yeah. for yeah, I just PDP. Say that, you know, you are not learned, so not maybe you read it from the Federal High Court point of view. Yeah. Ah, so yeah. now there's an appeal for judgment. Don't bamboozle us. Yeah. So suddenly you end up wake up. And there's no server. That's it. Moving on to Vanguard. Are we moving on to Vanguard? There's a story there now. Which story you want to do? The Nigerian Association of Women journalists so oh, that's what this NAW yeah is. so um or your state chapter they are saying that um they want the government to establish a Yoruba radio for their hunters and their farmers so that they can monitor the activities of invaders in the forest and they also want to be empowered to be able to carry arms to protect themselves oh. yes yeah, so they've written a letter to the governor Makinde we are expecting so to this hear is, is this in response to the Fulani radio before been talking? Oh, okay. moving on to Vanguard <laughs> the security Oshu under siege governor cries out uh, let's speak a story we haven't taken. June 12th, police woman 011220 show up for recognition. Mm -hmm. They're looking for that woman, actually. I don't... She was the one standing behind this. Yes, so mm -hmm. they're looking for her Thank to you. recognize her. Mm -hmm. Lawan mm -hmm. takes charge, frustrates move by PDP senators to discuss Buhari's speech. Uh, this picture of uh, Nima's area again. Mm -hmm. Gridlock on her papa, or should he express you? Thank God our guest was raised in <coughs> papa, so she to tell us her experience. I'm sure she has moved out. <laughs> 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 Marriage not cause of domestic violence is on Motola. Tribunal dishes coming back from extinction. So traditional, traditional dishes. dishes coming from extinction. And uh, I think that's about it. Let's talk about Oshun for a second. Okay. okay. Who has that story? State, yes. Mm -hmm. So the governor, um, Adegboye Ga Oyetola, did I try today? That's Oyetola. <laughs> Oyetola. Yeah, yeah. He is crying out um, over the uh, kidnappings happening in the state. So he's saying that he wants them to have like a joint patrol. He's going to support with um, equipment and uh, vehicles so that at least the police, the NSCDC and the army will work together to help him in the state. So. All right, want to take one yeah, I wanted to take their proper story. So the Vanguard was good at doing the report from Monday to today, saying that the tax force effort in Apapa has failed. Mm. And largely in that, in that report, if you read it well, you see that the, they also interviewed the tanker drivers. And again, corruption is at the bane of the issue. <sighs> corruption, again, they're tasking that tanker drivers 100,000. That's the, the tax force mem, uh, military men or someone. They're saying that they collect a, up to 100,000 per truck from them. So you hmm. see why they would never they leave because leave. you know they pay. Did I not they, tell they, Nima they on Tuesday that, that I went to that work. area? And it was also well, like, no, 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 no. Immediately that tax force was set up. There was re re serious relief. In fact, till date, you, from the second rainbow angle of Papa, you don't see the traffic. You have to get to Mount Our experience on this table tells us so that they started they start the and they the next few days, please stop. What, what I wanted to say is that whatever government is fighting this right. has to fight the issue of corruption within that area. Okay. The naval officers I think you've made that point several times. Taking money important. from them. Very important please, point. Please, that's the beginning of the fight. Okay, unfortunately, that's all we can take on front page review. A lot is happening. When we come back, <clears> a lot of social media just later, we'll bring in our, uh, our celebrity guest. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to your view. Thanks for staying with us. So we like gisting on Fridays. So this gist caught our attention on social media. A pregnant woman. Listen carefully, because I'm going to ask you what you would do and how you handle the situation. So you have to call in. <laughs> a pregnant woman went shopping at a supermarket in a very, very high up area of Lagos State. 
and bought goods worth 200,000 Naira. At the counter, she pulls out her ATM card to pay. And the lady who was at the counter at the time also doubles up as the owner who pulls out the POS and realizes that the ATM was her husband's. <laughs> she was in shook or shock, as you like shook, to say. Shook. She was shook. Now, I would like to get your own personal thoughts. So if you are the owner of the store and you see a pregnant lady who is about to pay for her, uh, her baby stuff, and she brings out the ATM that belongs to your husband, what would you do? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm not answering this question for anybody, but what would you do? You know, we talked about it. We wanted to talk about it last week. And when you asked the question, everybody on the table was silent, like, hmm, what would we do? And I thought about okay, it. Okay, let me invite our callers. 0870-8066814. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag YourBTVC so we can read your tweets. We're just having fun today, so nothing serious. Let's just get your thoughts or your responses. That what would you do if you were that woman? And um, please leave the phone line on the screen so that our viewers can call. Yes. Yeah, so my own, the first thing I'll do is take the card from her and say, this is theft. This card does not belong to you. <laughs> And if she tries to, I'm like, it belongs to my husband. And then I know the next thing she wants to explain herself that I didn't steal it, he gave it to me. I said, no problem, let us call the husband to come and explain himself. <laughs> so we'll all be sitting there with the uh, door locked. We'll be inside that shop until Waiting the, for the husband, husband comes to explain if it was stolen or if he gave it to her and if he gave it to her, who is she? She's cousin, his sister from yeah. another mother, I, I don't know. Yeah. But I know that I'm going to be having a conversation <sighs> with her. That's it. And then when right. he comes there, we take it from there. Right. Hey. I, I'm not coming to Nima because I, I have an idea what Nima's answer would be. If he comes up, actually. <laughs> I mean, For the very first right. time, I don't know what to do. Mm. Like, I was thinking about it. I said, would I take the ATM, like Miriam said, and, you know, ask her to call the person who gave it to her? Or would I just let her go and then call my husband? So there are two options. As the evidence, I could, you have to keep the evidence with you. Mm, <laughs> that's true. But I could still, you know, just let it go and call my husband. I may want to find out where she stays. I could ask a few questions. Where do you stay, ma'am? For our records, you, you came to the shop to buy something. Let's have your records. Let's have, let's have your email, your house address, and just cook up something to give her to write. And then I, I would let her go because she's pregnant. Okay. But then I call my husband and say, so so and so person came to the shop with your ATM card. Biko, come and explain how that card got to her. You know, but then you know, men. It could still be that somebody has said that we women, are, we housewives, are very selfish. That sometimes we should just let these men, you know, help other ladies out there who are waiting. So it could be that he was just trying to help her. And the and ATM card. You know, definitely he's, he's the owner of the baby. So what do you do in that situation? No, well, we have to talk about it. He's the owner of the baby. <laughs> Cannot drop ATM card. Someone like my husband does not give another woman money. I'm the only one that eats his money. So if he drops that ATM card, now he get that picking. <laughs> We'll take it from there. <laughs> Lima, what would you do? Ah, it's not a nice way to find out. I have second. Hey. Ah. I just thought about it. That, ah. Especially we are prepared for the second. Yeah, and it's not coming like that. this. No, if my second is coming, I want to go for the Nikayo. I'm going to wake up. Hmm. I don't want to be given a card at the shop because my beneath sense would also overcome my religious sense. I start to beat somebody. <laughs> so, Lima, you know, I'm, I, 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 I let me cut you. Yeah, you see, this is your, this your second matter here. Yeah? Hmm. Because you say it so often on the show that it's almost becoming normalized. It's, it's becoming normal for us to hear that, they, 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 that it's okay. It's religion. It, it, I, let's give the religion part. And I don't want you to go back to work. He's making it, he's, you're normalizing what is not, what is abnormal. He's told you that it's, it's not religion. abnormal. It's the reality of my own life. Okay. So right. I'm, I've prepared myself for it a long, long time. time ago. Wow. So, but I would like that, you know, I know firsthand. This kind of shock, I will not my, be, I might not be able to control myself, my, Street sense would have been taken over. Yeah. What I would like to, I would simply just delay and say my machine is giving me a problem. Let me check the other machine inside. Step aside. Okay. What's going on? You don't tell me someone else is, you have married someone else, just to confirm. And I trust my husband. He's not going to be afraid to be telling me. This. I'm sure he will come he out straight. Mm. So she will do her shopping, she will go. But she'll be escorted to the house. We'll go another day. And maybe another day. I'll go and show her myself. <laughs> Nima, me, I Nima. What will you do? Mariah, Mariah. Mariah. <laughs> the Nima I know, the original Nima I know, does not want a second wife. 
it's religion. That's why I say it's religion. No. It's prepared. If you leave yes. her, About yes, she's but if you leave her, her, she doesn't want. I don't even think she's mentally prepared. She's hoping <laughs> that she, the guy loves her. They are just both of them yeah, together. Yeah. Nothing is happening. She's just talking here for two. Someone doesn't mean that he doesn't love her. <laughs> of course. Someone is saying that he doesn't love her. If you are talking about love, that one you might not be able to give another one. I always say that Nima's own is better. At least Nima is mentally prepared. Some people have gone in feeling this is a monogamous relationship. I said, most many years down the line, Chris. Christian man, okay. married in church, don't bring extra wife. Hey. Let me take this call. Josephine, how are you there? Thank you. Are you there? Fine. Good morning. Morning. Go ahead, please. First time caller. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. The thing is, uh, ladies, let's not lie to ourselves. Uh, we don't even know what we're going to do. Mm. That's the truth of the matter. Everybody can say whatever they feel right now. But when it comes to you, my dear, you will be shocked. I'm telling First you. First of all, you don't want to believe that your husband would have a psychic who's already pregnant. Let's hmm. not right. take it away from every African man. Psychic will not allow she will chop it. Let's not take it away from every African man. The thing mm. is, let it not come to us. But if mm. it does come to you, mm. I'm telling you, first of all, you'll be amazed. Mm. And you can't even believe that your husband will leave his ATM. Now you begin to question yourself. That's the height of How come he's not leaving my ATM card with me? Hey. Hey. Sometimes that's, that's the truth. And when you begin to look at it in that way, you find yourself in between the whole mixture. What's wrong? Sure. Why is he not believing me? What's not? Before you start thinking about pregnancy, hey. why did not come to work? I pray hey. that all of this we are saying is because our husbands will not cheat, our husbands will not mess up. But if it does come to you, my sisters, you'll be amazed at what you will do. Thank yeah. you all. Yeah. Thank you very much. Just so, well, just well, widen, just, the, just widen the, the scope. The, 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 the issue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's go to break. We'll come back. Uh, we'll bring in our guest to join this conversation. Let us hear our own thoughts on this. Stay with <laughs> us. We'll be right back. <laughs> Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. She's an actor, scriptwriter, Nigerian on air personality, entrepreneur. Mm. She's also one of the daughters mm. of a billionaire businessman, late Olorogo. Olorogu Michael Ibro. She was once crowned the Miss Big and Beautiful UK. Welcome with us, Elvina Ibro. Welcome to the show. Good morning. Good to have you. You look amazing. Thank you so much. You must join this conversation. So you can, again, you can call us on 070-806-68014. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweet. So before you came on, we were talking about that situation where mm. you are the owner of the store, you see a pregnant woman comes to want to pay for um, goods for 200k for, for baby stuff, and the card <laughs> she gives to you is your husband's <laughs> card. <laughs> what would you do at that moment? Honest to God, I don't know. Hey, <laughs> I know, I don't know. True. Yeah, women. <laughs> look, at, look at I just broke her down for I mean, yeah, yeah. Robo 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 so, <laughs> No yeah. more Chris days. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, honestly, I, I, I don't know. I'm not the kind of person, I'm not brash in that sense right, where right. I would just jump to conclusions. Right, I'm right. quite a logical right. person. Yeah. So, I, the shock would probably keep me calm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's me. It will probably yeah, keep me that's calm. Me too. That's me too. I think I will collect the card and pay first. She been having owned the shop. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I will first pay, pay for your goods. Uh, tell her, thank you, madam. <laughs> then the, <laughs> you now the, start thinking. The, yes, I was me, thinking I, I know that. of how to handle the situation. I know that. I know the kind of husband I have. No matter what, in this kind of situation, my husband would never admit that he that something like that happened. Mm. He would, in fact, he's the like light. Not me. My card was stolen. Hey, light, light. Don't know oh, from anywhere. Wow. That's the kind of person I was like. So he won't even like. But I, so I know that that area. I'm not even going to go to, go to him. I'll just let her go with the goods. Know there's a situation mm. and just monitor it from afar. Yeah. Yeah. Monitor it from afar. So you know what, what they say. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. You know what they say about women. You know, like. When, when guys want to accuse you or when they think they know something, they'll just tell you. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, someone <laughs> like me, I go pocket them. Yes. I'll just keep on face. Mm -hmm. Because I know that eventually right. it's a, it's something is going to trigger. Yes. Yeah. And, and, and I, won't, I uh, won't be able to keep anything. I won't be able to eat. I won't be able to sleep. I won't be able to do anything till I handle that situation. <laughs> Once I get a situation, I must handle it see to the last before I can have we'll my peace. You then. Yes. But what Mariah is saying, that's the way women do it. Ah, yeah, not to disguise. Yeah. 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 I, I know my, my so if you want to get to the root of the issue, you, matter. Matter. you know, I mean, I just hope I might have my mom's permission to share the story because as a child, as a, as a young girl, I think maybe I was like, 
can't remember how old I was. I saw a picture of my father and a woman dressed the same way, hmm. carrying a baby Whoa. Hmm. under the bed hmm. in his room, like somewhere under his bed. I was just sweeping under my dad's bed, and I saw it somewhere hidden in one corner like that. So and I just put out the picture, and I like, rushed to my mom. Mom, what is this? Mm. And she just smiled. Mm. So she looked at it and told me to return it back where I found it. Hey! She didn't say a word. That's a mother. My, my, my half-sister was with me. Both of us found it together. Mm. She took the picture to her own oh, mom. Mother. And then her Hi. mom, obviously. All hell. All hell broke loose. <laughs> my mother had that information and kept it for years. Your mother is strong. Years. Yes. After my father died, yes. this that child we saw, we saw the, the, was, was born Came to home. Us. home. My mother was asking her, said, okay, you know, I knew she, I, I remembered. Mm. But she just kept quite calm, mm. never raised the issue with my dad. Maybe she did, I didn't know. Mm. But it was, there was never well, an didn't, issue. Yeah. Just went on. Respectful way to but that so, was her job. And today, we are all together. We don't try with you. Yeah. Sorry? She was in my reality. At the How time. do you mean? So, no, she was a Muslim. Okay, okay. So, okay. you don't confront yes. polygamy oh, yes. like that. Yes. Okay. Which, what do they fight about? It's not only you now, you shift and let somebody see. Hey, that. Babe. So it's not, But, you know, <laughs> Justin just widened the gap now. Yeah. When, when, when she called, when she mentioned that, what if you never had access to mm. the ATM cards? That's mm. the case. So, ATM card. about. so if, mm. if ordinarily ATM card cannot mistakenly fall down, it's new, uh, forget inside Shokoto for you to even wash, that mm. like you will jam it and use it. Yeah. Someone now have access to bring it to a shopping mall. A Caesar. Ah. That's betrayal. It's painful. Very that painful. knife that just oh. been. That's betrayal. And you know what? Chai. I know this to be true about um, having access to someone's ATM because I was just saying, I went to pick up my husband's passport one time and I didn't have his ID card and I was, you know, rummaging through my bag to find the ID card and his ATM card dropped. They gave me the card. They said, the man that can drop all his cards ATM with you, you, you have Surely. to be very important to him. <laughs> so, yeah, so to have someone come into my shop with my husband's ah, card. Let me Samuel, are you there? Yeah. Hello, Samuel. Yeah. Morning. Yeah. Go ahead, please. Um, well... I think uh, before any woman would take such an action, you just have to do what we call critical thinking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it might not be what you think. Is it possible? Carry test book. It might not be what you think. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, because sometimes we conclude on the surface. Mm -hmm. right. Probably that woman might be related to your husband. Mm -hmm. And you know with that yeah. to your relatives for his, his relatives. But he doesn't want his family, his wife, to know. Hmm. Probably the woman might not be in good terms with his wife. Mm -hmm. Or he doesn't want his wife to know that he's overspending his money for his relatives. Mm -hmm. So sometimes he just do it discreetly without wow. his immediate family. So wife. Wow. Every man knows Ooh, the kind of wife he has. If he's a millionaire, it's under case, my So women will tell you, no problem, no problem, no problem. But the following day, they will come out with a problem. Mm. Three issues. Okay. You Thank you it. very much, Three Samuel. That, that, that's Samuel. another angle. Three issues for yes. Samuel's yes. analysis. So, one, we do family <coughs> wedding introduction. We didn't meet cousin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two, <laughs> ATM card is not what you give a cousin. You give them cash. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you're, you're, you're going through your time. I'll transfer money to mm -hmm. you. you. Don't give them. You don't know. It's like a blank check. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anything you like, just take. I feel betrayed. Yeah. Yeah. I just know that. Oh. Like, uh, but, Elena, what is betrayal to you? Like, what? Help us understand. I mean, mm. they tell a the woman who's getting married that, oh, you know, you're you you going to marriage, you have to know how to understand men are not these, that, you know, they give us sort of definitions. Advice. Advice and all that. What do you think is betrayal? Is this betrayal or is this something that can be managed? Ah, this situation, is it betrayal or is it something that can be managed? Hmm. First of all, look at my finger. It's very empty. <laughs> 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 you know, let me just, yeah, you know, put yeah, that, put yeah. that for. And there's a reason I'm not right. a fool. Right. You know, there's yeah. a reason. Um, I would, I. You, it's hard because until you find out what really happened, happens, right. you can't really say this man. Because like, I mean, Samuel ha has a point. Right. Sometimes mm -hmm. things really are what not they see, what they, they seem. Right. When you watch all these romantic hard. movies yeah. mm -hmm. and you know, the girlfriend sees him with one girl and something, something, mm -hmm. and she immediately you know, is his girlfriend and it turns out to be some stepsister that right. he just discovered. Right. Her, you know? Card. So, so, Let's I not mean, forget him. Let me come to Alvina because you brought us to this ring thing. Let's, yeah. let's, let's, let's <laughs> dig in for that. Let's go to that door. Um, why, I mean, people always say that once you reach a certain age, it's difficult to settle down. Is that right. true? Are you going through any challenges on 
getting to that point of, you know what, I want to settle for somebody or I can't trust somebody or I feel that it's not good enough. What exactly is the issue? I'm, I'm, I've always wanted to settle right. with someone, but I just never felt that I needed to sign a piece of paper to do okay. it. Mm. Why is why that's, that's the, I know day for, you know, if I get a problem with you, mm. thank you very much, goodbye, happy birthday. Yes, mm. so. Have a nice life. Mm. I'm not for mother-in-law calling me, sister-in-law yeah. calling me, uh, this yes. one, that one is dragging you. This one. I'm not saying marriage, marriage is a beautiful thing. Right, right. And I, I believe so much in marriage, right. which is mm -hmm. probably one of the reasons why I've been so scared mm -hmm. to get so married. So it might be the because, high standard of what because, you expect marriage to be. Yes, because I always, I always say to God, I say, look, if you want me to marry, First of all, you put it in my heart. Mm. That's number one. And then I will not manage mm. a husband. Mm. Yeah. Cool. I will manage finance. I will manage, you know, life generally. I will manage, you know, whatever it is. Mm. But I will not go home and manage yeah, and a adults. husband. So what, what Until you find the one that is perfect for me. Mm. No, there's no perfect person, mm. no perfect man, right. no perfect woman. Right. For you. But the one that is perfect for me. Yeah, you guys flow. And we're cool, mm. you know, but I know a go house. But you're born the, the, in this silver spoon, you know, you're this rich kid. <coughs> People, don't you think men are intimidated? Like, I mean, I can, no, I can't go there. Okay. They are, if, I, if I say they're not, then I'll just be deceiving myself. It's actually a serious issue. Mm. And they always, you know, pretend that they're not mm. at the beginning of the relationship. Mm. They always pretend. And then it doesn't help, again, that apart from my background, I'm also in the limelight. Mm. You know, as well. Oh, know, my, see, my I my love work. it when Elvina is opening these small, small doors. I'm going to do. yes, so. mm. break out. I'll let you go in. <laughs> the, the new one you've opened mm. is this issue of we are all raising kids. Mm. Should we have this Hebrew life um, um, image or aspiration. I want to be multi-billionaire. I want to raise my kids <clears throat> to have that, listen, have everything, and then grow up to the point where they feel as if a lot of men are feeling intimidated by them. Yeah. Should we step back on what we're giving our kids? Mm. Should we cut down on our affluence? Those are questions we need to start thinking about yeah. because I know a lot of rich kids who are having this issue of people are just intimidated. I know there's this powerful young lady, beautiful, but she's just all the way up there and and the average man out there is actually, ah, I can't handle this kind of thing, no. Mm -hmm. So is it a bad thing? We're going to talk about that after this break. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. So before the break, we're talking about um, this pressure. Everybody wants to be rich, wants to be multi-billionaire. And we're raising girls, young ladies, and we're getting more independent. I think Jumaka says all the time, women are more independent no. today, you know. And there's this issue of people are just intimidated. So in your going through your own life experience, mm -hmm. what would you advise us, young people who are raising girls, adults, even men generally, raising kids today, mm -hmm. what would you advise us to do? Well, the way I was raised, right. I mean, obviously I was born into a billionaire's house, but I never, we were never raised like that. Right. We were never raised as spoilt. Yeah. We were never spoilt. Yeah. My mama na them bona for run. Do you understand? <laughs> Even though she was mixed race, she wasn't Nigerian. But if you had asked her where she was from, she would have told you she was a, a, a cross mm -hmm. riverian mm -hmm. because yeah. she was. That was where she was born and raised. That was where she knew. And then my father came from humble beginnings mm. as well. They were very humble people. And in our house, you know, the way we be, even now, you know, go ever know, say, you know, you see yeah. us drinking stout at joints yeah. and, you know, right. hanging. In no, fact, no, like, the mm. people I don't even hang out with are the so-called uh, big rich, people. Yeah. Socialize, because sometimes they really make me feel quite ill, mm. to be <laughs> honest. No, I'm, I'm being right. very candid. Yeah. I mean, I know, I know someone that has a child, and this child has three nannies. What are you doing with three nannies for one picking? <laughs> What's yeah. happening? You know, you born am. Mm. You know, and the child doesn't lift. Uh, I remember she, 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 <laughs> she brought the poor little thing to, to my house and said, Alvina, can you please look after this, my baby, for a weekend? I said, sure. And uh, then she, she went off to wherever she was going, and the child said, um, I, I only eat. Chips Maybe. and chicken. As I think, go chop that back. Don't worry, <laughs> I'm coming to you. <laughs> <laughs> so the first night, I humored him. I gave him chips with chicken. Okay. 
<laughs> the next day, my Peking sit down for breakfast. They walk Ogi and Akara. <laughs> 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 That's the area boy. He <laughs> was saying, Jim, I said, no, no, uh, I don't want it. I don't want it. I said, oh, boy. You don't eat you eat up. What you are giving in this house? Yes, Otherwise, you eat hungry. <laughs> <laughs> he refused to eat lunch. Right. I think lunch was a bar or something right. that, you know, wow. he just refused. And I have a menu for my son. Right. He eats what is on the menu because menu. he has to realize there are many children out there that cannot yeah. eat at cannot all. Eat. Yeah. So you eat what you're given. When you start making your own money, you can then choose, you can choose to you eat want. what you like. Hi, so you know, the idea. Until yeah. someone gets to know you sort of intimately mm -hmm. before they would see this side of you. Mm. So for me, I'm thinking that maybe if you had like, if you were supposed to have like 100 suitors, just by your name, you yeah, I was, 50, I was actually going to say know, that yes, no matter it, you how know. you raise your child, mm. people will always think what they will think. Right. This is the issues we have in our, you know, people like just what you said. Ah, I mean, I didn't know you were like this, so, so you can, but, but they, they already have this like, they already, they, they've so made, it's like, it's them. like a make-believe world that they mm. want to be in. Mm. So because they want to be Cinderella in Cinderella's castle, mm. where life is perfect, they've already made it up for mm. you that you are this person. Mm. So no matter what you say, mm. or no matter what you do, you are still that, that thing is, is still there, there, you know? So I mean, I've had people that are, you know, have met me five years ago, and never got to know me then, five years down the line, they sit down with me and they're like, ah, That's that time we used to look at you like one ice queen or from mm. the distance. And I'm like, no, I'm not, you know, I'm not like that. So the truth is that try and raise your children the best way you can. Thank you, For them to be humble, for them to appreciate what they have, mm. for them not to be spoiled. No, I mean, we, we had loads of um, mm. help in the house. Right. Well, God bless you, you wake up in the morning, you don't, do you don't make your bed. When you come back from school, you take off your, your socks and your underwear, you wash it. You know, they sit down for backyard, they, they pee bang out with my mama. That's mm. just it. So, so I, I would say that, I, had, yeah. I, I, I would say that, um, I don't think we should raise our kids because of what society says. says what yes. do you want for yeah. your children? So I happen to come from a home that we're not very, uh, we're not wealthy, not a billionaire's home. It was a very humble, very, very humble <laughs> beginning. But I didn't want, I don't want that for my children. That's why I'm working as hard as I am working yes. because I compared my life and compared what uh, the friends I had who came from wealthy homes. And I, not because I was, I was raised to be content with whatever I have and I'm trying as much as possible to raise my children to be content so they eat whatever mommy provides mm -hmm. just like you mentioned mm -hmm. and they do chores at home I was telling my daughter the other day that come this babe in the house will soon go you need to start taking up responsibilities okay, and she's school. handling certain things already Kemi are you there yes let me just answer my I'm question Kemi are you there I'm there go ahead please all right um I'm Orion. This is my second time calling. Okay, welcome to the show. Long time. <laughs> welcome to the show, Kemi. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, I, I just want yeah. to ask a question concerning the issue yes. on the line. Now, um, the woman that was at the supermarket, Yes. are you sure she doesn't know the, that that woman is the, is the wife. other guy's uh, wife? That's another I'm angle. very sure she knows. Hey. And so what she did was, I don't think that man okay, sure. gave yes. her the ATM card. Maybe she yeah, hit the ATM card. Mm. Just to go and see the woman. I'm telling sure. the woman that, look, yeah, I'm here. Yeah. Mm. And it's either you move or... I move you. Ah. Hey! Thank you, Kevin, for bringing us to this angle. Yes. line too. <laughs> Yes. Thank you, God bless you. Thank you. So, Kevin has brought us back to this issue. I'm telling you. So, Nima is obviously, <laughs> Nima, in this situation where, the, of all the supermarkets in Lagos, it you is the here. wife of the, of, your, of the guy you are dating. Kevin is open another video. Yes. I was, I was actually going to it say was. that. What a coincidence that is the shop. It should not be coincidence, not deliberate. That's mm. what I'm saying. That if I find trouble, you know, uh, if I suspect, I wish, I, I, wish okay, I'm, so I wish I'm in that place where if it happens, I'm, I wish I'm in that place where I can actually rationalize things. Mm. So if I suspect you find me come, my territory, you have to get what you're looking for. Mm. <laughs> I cannot go with that message. You have to get it. Mm. Because, ah. No, for me, I'm thinking if, you know, her, her own analysis, 
what if she's pregnant for this man and he's refused to make it open? Oh, no, so she says, okay, I'm going to handle it myself. I'm going to tell your wife. In her mind, you see, you're afraid to tell your see, wife. Let me go and tell her. So that's why, you see that thing I said, that my style is the best. Because when we now sit down with the <laughs> shop locked, <laughs> but you we know, are going to have a conversation. Yeah, okay. so, so, and yeah, somebody always, I'll come to you, Virgil. Somebody always tells me something that uh, Yoruba has a saying. There's nothing coming from the, from the sky that the, girl that the ground cannot take. take. Mm. There's absolutely nothing, nothing. new under the sun. Yeah, you're you right. see, what Elvina said is very powerful. There's strength in quietness. Mm. You see, it's not easy. It's not easy. But when that thing is coming, when you are calm, you can rush, you can take time out to think of what's trying to do. So at that moment, I won't even say a word. Mm. I'll let her pay for it. <coughs> Point of advice yes. to the women who think this is a good way to announce themselves. Oh, God help you meet a rational person like Morayo that the world is coming down to take something. <laughs> if you meet some people... I'm Mero. Chai. Go ahead, Vijay. Uh, you you know, please, oh, please, please. I've been in this space before. I was the one that was the other person. And uh, they yeah, did not want to... Are you the they, pregnant woman? Are you the star owner? No, pregnant? I wasn't pregnant, but I was in the uh, well, position of the... Chief. Yeah. No, 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 wait, before. no, hold on. Yeah, Excuse yeah, me. Husband, hold on. Breaking news. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't aware that there was a relationship going, going on, on okay. when we started. That so was your he, husband today? Forget about who he was. When we started. So, but he didn't want to let go of the other person okay. and he didn't want to show me okay. and me i can't play second fiddle right. so i just said you know what will happen i go and show myself yes so that particular day i prepared and i went <laughs> and i anti come I, I did this business so yeah. and they chop this thing where they chop yeah. it. <laughs> there's a reason why i like to do me or be a dulu hey. there's just one reason ah, yeah, okay. Okay. so she joined i just like to, i like bullying her <laughs> I don't know. I didn't know that there's something I'm fighting for. <laughs> you did what? <laughs> you went to go and show face. Before. So I don't what understand. Happened? What did she do? Okay, and she was speaking English. Uh, okay, all right, you know. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Whatever she was saying. And she said, okay, it's, it's fine, it's fine. I'm not going to leave him. Uh, okay, let, let's see who he finally chooses. I'm like, does this girl even know where I come from? I'm crazy. And I got him. Hey. Mm. How I slow? Why do we attack other women? Thank you. It's not, it's not her fault. You no. Know. Why are you not attacking the Indians? Yes. Yes. As far as no, it's not why, why, why you fight fight you? Why that you are you aware. Fighting over us. Oh, 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 I don't understand. Why? I wasn't why aware when. By the time you found out. No, no, no. When I say fight, I don't mean like literally. Okay, okay. But strong point is. You you didn't know he was in a relationship yes, I didn't at the know. time you started, started the relationship yeah. with him. Mm. The moment you find out, mm. the that's my own point of view. To okay. do the right thing the to do is to step aside mm. and address and let him address that relationship yes. to the point yeah. he's free. Exactly. The decent thing to the do. Right. Right. Yeah, if it was the right me. thing to do, right? Listen, you see that way. Listen, and me, my dear. Okay. 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 How many? How many you go? You know how many you get? We get, but I refuse to have a intimacy in the relationship. Right. Okay. So the guy didn't understand why he cannot hug me. And I was just like, if you don't understand, then go. Let it go. So his friends advised a side chick. The girl not travel all the way to his school. She slept there. The friends came to tell me. I still did not react. They thought I was dumb or something. Then she came with her friends, small girl. And they thought they were confronting me. Good morning. Good morning. And then my school son at the time was like, you don't know this girl's greeting. She's said, telling you something. That's the girl we've been mm. telling you about, like, is this one confrontation? <laughs> you, this one, immediately I just said, take him, take him, take him, because it's important to you yeah. like that. Mm. If it was a confrontation, ah. Since we are revealing stories here, I'm making my own too. Since we are revealing stories. So I was a side chick. <laughs> at some point. I think I was a side chick. Oh, really? <laughs> Same here. Some clown I was dating, works in one um, um, telecoms company. You know, he told me that he has a daughter. He had a daughter. But he, I never knew he was in a relationship with the, with the mother. I just told uh, that he had a daughter and they had the, um, she, she lived, she located America and everything. So I just thought they were, they were not in a relationship. And I was dating this clown for, for a while. And one day, I think I've shared this story before. One day I went to his house. He, I yes. kept calling him and calling him. He didn't pick up. I kept calling him, what's wrong with this guy? And I went to his house. There was no light. The generator on was pretty loud. Yeah. But I could see the activity inside his house. And I walked all the way. 
and I just peeked out the window and I saw the girl in his bedroom, removed all her all her the, the suitcases, the mm. child was running in and out. I saw the family, his, his sister hugging, you know, they're, they're all family, family. I'm like, mm. yeah. I just turned no back one. around. Left. Left. Deleted his number well, and never spoke to him again. Mm -hmm. That that's, was it. That's me. I wasn't even interested. I liked the guy, but mm, I just that's me. dropped it. I don't, nice. I don't, I don't get energy. Mm. I don't, I don't, I don't have energy. Oh, if the lion on the it place, works for me never now. now. Calm down. Now our stories are different in this life. Our oh, journey is different. Okay, we have a break. Let's go to break. <laughs> when we come back, we now focus on our oh, guests. Yes, 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 we'll be right back. <laughs> Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. So we have Okwe and me from Ikeja. Stay, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Good morning. Morning. Go ahead, please. Okay, ladies. Um, I enjoyed the topic you are discussing okay. about a woman. That found the husband's ATM yes. with another woman. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, let me first start by telling you that we all don't know what we will do when such happens. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But I will take you back mm. to when you see something that surprises you, how do you react? Mm. That will be your reaction in this particular one. Mm. And then the second issue is that we are all pinning it down on Mima that Mima is expecting second wife. Let all of us be expecting second wife. Wow. Is it that it happens or not? Mm. I was discussing with my friend last week, and I told my friend that um, if my husband decides to take second wife, I'm going to be calm about it. Mm. And she's like, it seems you don't love your husband. And I, I'm like, I love myself in this condition because whatever you are expecting doesn't shock you if mm. it comes. Mm. So many women have ended in Yaba Pauti, a romantic home, because they, are too, they believe that Oh, I'm the owner of this man, mm. and nothing else can happen. Mm. We women, we should think about how to value ourselves, mm. how to develop ourselves, how to make ourselves indispensable. Yes, mm. so. Because it's the women that don't have value that they dispense. Mm. If you have value to yourself, and like Mariah said, that when the, the mom saw the picture of the dad with another woman, she was peaceful. I beg, I like that woman. She's mm. in a place of peace. No man can seek her, mm. carry, can push her anyhow. Mm. So by the time we get there, because it seems, you know, like somebody wrote on social media that you should not think about men and marriage like the end of the world. Mm. Mm. It's not think about how Thank you very much, Akwebi. Fantastic. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm not sure I entirely <laughs> agree with that. <laughs> okay. Because men are just... They know they, they, they don't know whether they are coming or going. Ew. I, no, it's true. Confused. Because I, I come from a polygamous home, mm. and my mom was the first. Mm. My mom was beautiful. She was intelligent. She was hardworking. No food waste. No sabi cook. She born seven children. I still get flat belly and bobby mm. where they stand. Mm. I mean, the woman was superwoman. So waiting the man, they, they go find. Mm. 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 Waiting they, they go depend. find. No, you know, mm. no, you know. Wait, let, 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 let. It's the women who. It's not the women anything. <laughs> leave women alone. Exactly. We should leave ourselves alone. Yes. Yeah. Stop blaming us. Mm. The men, these men are devils. <laughs> <Yeah>. They're devils. <laughs> <laughs> if woman chase you, must you agree? Mm. Yeah. Now every man will chase you, they agree for me. I'll be all chase the ordinary. Mm. I, oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, I know, I know so, you like, yeah. so man, if you do juju for woman, now only woman, if you do juju for woman, stop, stop, stop it. Like, I, I, really, I really don't want to end this gist, but I, we have to find out what you're working on. Because we have to find out what you're working on. <laughs> because we can gist you tomorrow on this matter. Let's go, let's go. But we need to make sure, we know Twice Design production is doing a lot of work, yeah. movies, documentaries. Um, tell us what's going on in your career. What are you, I mean, we see you on TV, and there's a new movie coming up with Volanios and Peter. Yes. We're excited about it. There's so much stuff happening. Tell us, tell us about so it. I am so excited about that project. It's a film. Right. And you, you mentioned, you know, right. <laughs> amazing. I'm so proud of women right. that are. You know, it amazing. seems as if it's women that are taking over the industry. Yes, yes we are. <laughs> you know, there's, there's more, there's yes, bad. Yes. You know, there's I mean, BC2 I mean, coming up. On, you know? <laughs> um, um, anyway, the, the, the film is called The Bling. Negotiations. Right. Yes, mm. yes. And I don't want to give too much away, away but you're really going to enjoy it because I think it's going to open a lot of people's eyes mm. as to how the so called elite, as we put in the yeah, film, the 1% of the 1%, but, uh, of how they really live. Mm. You know, there's a lot of pretense mm. and there's also a lot of. Um, <laughs> 
jealousy and yeah. you know mm -hmm. am i allowed to say bitchiness bitchiness <laughs> <laughs> you know there's there's this you know, the, not all it's not what that yes exactly yeah. Yeah. exactly, yeah. 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 exactly. Yeah. Yeah. and um it's it's very very interesting it's a <laughs> it's about a family that uh like you know the the genghis yeah, well, you know the creme de la creme and uh they're actually not doing as well no. right. anymore right. but mm. Trying desperately hard to, to keep up to with the yeah, Johnson. with appearances. So for this um, project coming, uh, I hope it has like a rich dialogue because that's something I find missing. Missing in, a lot in of Nigerians, yes, yes, Nigerians, yes, yes. yes. Um, but no yes, content. Yes, we need content. We need them to have a conversation that sounds real. You mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. you have um, people, and then um, c actors, real actors. Because what we find now, I don't know if you are aware as well, that people are put in roles maybe just because they look pretty yeah. or they have a social media following. <coughs> what are the sort of people you are working with in this project? Well, everything for me starts with the script. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, do, I haven't been in many films. I'm a right. stage person. Right. Um, so <coughs> I was doing, in fact, this film, this film started off as a stage play. Mm. Mm. You know, Babs called me in to read for a play. And as we went through the first reading, you know, she then asked after, as most people that are good at their job, they always ask for your opinion. Right. That's what makes you good, you know? Right. So, um, you know, she said, what do you think? What do you think? And we like, yeah, yeah, that was nice, you know, the script's nice, but, you know, somehow, somehow, it's not seeming like a, a play. Mm -hmm. You know, this might actually yeah, be yeah. better as a, a movie. And she took it away and she thought about it. She said, you know what? you might be right. Yeah. So for me, everything starts with the script. Right. If the script wasn't interesting, if the script wasn't exciting to me, I would have simply told her, I'm very sorry, but uh, you know, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> you you know? Know, how, how do we, because um, I see theater, we don't really have so much anymore. Everybody's focusing more on films and movies and TV series. The theater isn't making as much, as much noise, as much money. So all the actors are more interested now in going into films. But I know that theater is what makes you an actor because the people who come from theaters, we were talking about it the other day, yeah. they are the fantastic, they're amazing, they know the job. So yes. is there yeah. any plan to like we Re, re, is it revise or revamp? Well, to be the honest, theater. I think that to be well honest, now, right? I'm, I'm very hopeful Babs because well we've that. we've we've gone through because back when I was growing up in the 70s and 80s, theater was big in Nigeria right. due to the fact also that the national theater was alive, mm. and then that it was then abandoned. That mm. didn't help at right. all because I remember Sundays. After church, it was either Federal yes, Palace Hotel, Hotel. Mm. or oh, National Theatre Theater. or Amusement Park. There right. were, those were the three yeah, options, you know. And every time we went to the National Theatre, it was buzzing. And then we had shows coming in like right. Ipitombi. Right. That was the first show I ever watched that made me fall in love with theatre. I was five. Mm. Ipitombi was in Nigeria. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And that was it. That was it when I saw that show. Um, and then we just started going <coughs> down. down. Yeah, but now, People like Babs. Yeah. They've, yeah. they've, I mean, that if there's a play I'm in called yes. Hereward, if I'm a fan. Hereward yeah. is this great you with know, theater. You know, now it's hard to, f like the other day I went to watch one called Threesome. Mm. And mm. there one, the they had to put extra chairs yes. mm. in the theater. So I'm hopeful yeah. because mm. Nigerians have always been theater people. Right. Okay. You know, they, Nigerians have always loved theater. So, so I first of all saw you, the first time I saw you was on the, the promotion for Hereward. Okay. So I, I loved the the objective of here was it was addressing an all women thing addressing women and so I followed up. Yeah. I saw this interview on Inside Ninja on YouTube from that you did on rape. <coughs> talking to women and how and how you think they should deal with mm. rape. I'd like mm. you to, you know, talk about that experience mm. and you know, use this platform to address women like that. Again. Okay. Well I I you know I, I always want to encourage women, and I believe that if I need to stand in the middle of TBS and do something that makes me a little bit uncomfortable to help women, I'm going to do it. Which is why I kept, I've been saying, why we attack it, I've been saying that throughout this show, mm -hmm. you know. I was raped, um, funnily enough, uh, June, June 12th. Um, mm -hmm. I can't even remember the year. It was over 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. And um, I refused to be ashamed, mm -hmm. and I refused 
to be castigated mm. because it's not my fault. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But society will make you feel like it's your like fault. It's your fault. Right. Why were you wearing that skirt? Why were you doing the alone? Mm. Why were you with him? I remember you what saying the nurse was asking, what were you wearing? Yes. She was yeah, asking me what I was wearing. I was like, what's what? When I went to hospital, you know, because, uh, you know, obviously I told my family and my brother Oscar went insane. You know, I, I'll never forget that. I mean, like he tore the room apart, you know, and he, you know, took me straight to hospital and had all the tests because it was an armed robber mm. um, that came into, I was with my bobo and the armed robber came into the house. So I had to go through the, all the, the AIDS yes. tests and, you know, mm. all that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah. And I went there and she was, you know, examining me and, you know, and she now said, eh, madam, what were you wearing? Hey. I was like, oh God. What has that got to do with the price of fish? Even if I was wearing pint and bra, hmm. does it mean that inside the man the has a right inside my house? Mm -hmm. Does it mean that he has the, the right to touch me if I don't want to be touched? Even if you be my husband, if you know, if I don't want to touch, don't touch me. Hmm. Not in the mood. <laughs> do you understand what I mean? So I mean, people are always shocked when I say, and like, why are you shocked? It's something that happened to me. I didn't do anybody any harm. Mm. And I've heard of women that have actually committed suicide yeah, because, because they've been made to feel so bad about, that about being thing. raped. And it's not yes. your fault. Mm. Let's go on a quick round. I'm yeah. so glad you made it clear that it's not your fault. A lot of women need to hear that over and over fault. again. Let's go on a break. When we come back, we'll say more on this. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. It's good. <laughs> Stage and, and um, movies. movies, which one is difficult? Because I believe, I don't understand how you people do this. Film that acting. Edited. <laughs> I beg you. <laughs> you got to say it's a real script. When you get it wrong, they say cut. Can't is that yeah. work? <laughs> The hardest thing about acting behind the camera is the waiting, as far as I'm concerned. I actually hate doing film. Mm. And I, I, well, I was, you know, I've always been a theater person. I was trained at theater school. And the amount of work you have to do to be on stage is phenomenal. Wow. It's phenomenal. And um, I'm not, don't get me wrong, I know that film actors are, you know, they're phenomenally talented because there's, mm -hmm. there's a whole different skill to it. Yeah. But I always look at stage as a, a, a basis. Right. The way, oh, like, I, I play the piano. Mm -hmm. So because I play the piano, if I pick up the guitar, it's much easier. Mm -hmm. If I pick right. up a flute, it's, you know, the, yeah. you have an idea of where the keys yeah. are already. You That's act, the way I look at you stage. You acted with Omotala. Omotala is like yeah. one of Nigeria's sweethearts. Omotala and Genevieve. Yes. And people always just wonder, how was it acting with her? It was amazing. I, it was a very small role. Yeah. But because I knew I would have screen time with her one on one, Aww. I was like, yes, I have Aww. to do it. Because she's one of the actresses I really admire. Yeah. I really like her more. I, like I think she's. So, this new good. movie coming out, tell us more about it. When is it premiering? So, <laughs> if you look out for it. Yes, the premiere is on Sunday. Oh, this Sunday? Yes. Oh. And. Um, um, it's, you know, obviously the bling Lagosians, you can imagine the, 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 out. the theme is Eko for show. And she, she has even gone further. She has one million naira to give out. Oh, really? 500,000 for the best dressed. Ah, 350,000 for second place and 150,000 for, for third place. Are you serious? Yeah, and mm. even the cast are allowed to participate. She has oh, said it's open to, to, everybody. to everybody. everybody. So, is it like a know, theme? Yeah, it's yes, 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 for sure. This will be the This only people do. Yeah. 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 We'll put it that big one that will blind us. <laughs> exactly. Oh, it's it's for yeah. I always say nice. bring your sunglasses. So this weekend, you'll be blinded. So all the cinemas? Yeah, all the, all the cinemas. It's been distributed by Film One. Right. Yeah. So the um, premi the premiere will be at IMAX, IMAX right. in uh, uh, Lenki, yeah. and it's on the 16th. And then the actual film will be released everywhere on the 28th of June. Oh, wow. So I'm, I'm very, very excited. Oh, we nice. all are. And the, the cast is stellar. You oh. know, Alex, mm. you're going to look at Alex 
in a completely different okay. way when you watch this from Alex Akuba. I don't want to say <laughs> okay, much, yeah. but your guy is no longer, you're not so, going to look at a kind of yeah, fine boy, yeah, you know? Yeah, He's, I, I mean, earlier, it was one fine boy. No, no honestly, <laughs> I was so glad he I'm got this role because wow. it's, you know, it's going to launch him. Gonna, yeah, yeah, it's going to, I mean, he's already big, but it's going to mm -hmm. take him somewhere right. else. And then, you know, being at it, is in it. Um, Mona Lisa, my sister, is in it. Oh. Um, there's an, an, an amazing lady called, I, well, I call her Sis Winnie. She's amazing. She's not a professional actor, oh, but you God. will not believe it. Oh, God. And I always say there's more to the art than talent. Mm. You can have people that are talented, but very difficult to work with. Mm. You know, these prima donnas and, mm, you know. Right. Sis Winnie, first time actress. She was on set on time. She had her lines wow. down. She wow. never She's complained. Wow. You know, you That's know when nice. you say you're going to be on set till 6 p.m., but you're actually there till like 1 a.m. Wow. She would just be there, and wow, you know fantastic. she was watching, and she was very, very. She's my, she's my enemy in. in uh, uh, she's my number one enemy in the movie. Looking forward to yeah. movie very. So hopefully we'll get an opportunity to be at the uh, premiere this Tony weekend. Of course, Tony Abraham. Yes. Is, oh, that, nice. She's the googie lady. Comedy. The googie. Yeah. Anyways, Edinburgh. Such a pleasure having you on the show. Thank you so much. I've had so much pleasure. We're still going to bring you back on a Thursday because we have a lot of juicy deals. So much. We talk about your yellowness, your tattoo. Because the whole of the Nollywood is they are bleaching because of people like you and Mona Lisa. They want to be white like you. What this bleach? Come here. I sit in the sun for hours. Nothing happens. And like I just sweat. I never even don't wash it darker. We have a lot to just about you, but we have to bring you back. But thank you. Thank you so much for coming to the show. Thank you so much for too. having me. Thank That's you. all we can take. Sunday is Father's Day. And on your view, we'll be celebrating all our viewers who are fathers. So if you're a father, you are the only ones we expect on our Wednesday live audience show. Just like when we had the Mother's Day, we only had mothers. So we're only going to open the doors to fathers on Wednesday so you can come join the audience. We want to have nice. a deep conversation with fathers. Nice. What, what, how is your challenges? What, how, what, what the things you'd like to do to become a better father? This kind of support you require of your wives or your mothers to be a better father. All those will discuss on Wednesday. So please come on Wednesday. If you know any father that deserves to be there, please bring them on. Have a fabulous weekend. We'll see you Monday. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>